Ever wondered how fan-powered terminal units keep your building comfortable and efficient? In this video, we'll break down exactly how fan-powered terminal units work, from their internal components to how they control airflow and temperature in both overhead and underfloor systems. We'll cover series versus parallel configurations, how primary and return air mix, how they perform during winter conditions, and what drives the CFM, liters per second, needed to meet heating loads. Let's get started. What is a fan-powered terminal unit? A fan-powered terminal unit, or FPTU, is part of a variable air volume system that uses a small fan and mixing chamber to blend primary air from the air handler with return air from the plenum. This allows precise temperature and airflow control in individual zones. FPTUs are popular because they improve comfort, maintain proper ventilation, and efficiently provide heating and cooling right at the zone. Key Components Inside each unit, you'll find several major components. A primary air damper with a flow sensor, a fan section, usually with an ECM motor, an induction opening for return air, and often a reheat coil, which can be either electric or hot water. Some units also include sound insulation, filters, and a controller with temperature and flow sensors. All these elements work together to maintain the right air mix and temperature for your zone. How Air Flows Mix Here's how airflow mixing works. The terminal receives cool, dry air from the air handler. It blends that with return air from the ceiling plenum to temper the discharge air. When the space needs heating, the reheat coil adds warmth. The local fan ensures steady mixing and maintains airflow, especially at low primary air volumes. Series versus parallel FPTUs. There are two main types of FPTUs, series and parallel. In a series FPTU, the fan operates in series with the primary airstream. That means all supply air passes through the fan. The fan runs continuously during occupied hours, delivering a constant discharge volume even when primary airflow modulates. This provides stable ventilation and consistent diffuser throw, which is ideal for interior zones or spaces that need steady air movement. In a parallel FPTU, the fan is in a parallel path to the primary air. During cooling, the fan stays off. Air flows directly from the duct to the space. When heating is needed, the fan turns on, drawing warmer plenum air across the reheat coil. The result is quieter cooling, lower energy use, and excellent perimeter heating control. Dedicated outside air connection for enhanced ventilation. Some fan-powered terminal units, such as the Titus TFS model with IAQ connection, can be equipped with a dedicated outside air opening to introduce conditioned ventilation air directly into the terminal unit. This design allows a controlled amount of outdoor air to mix with return and primary air at the zone level, helping meet stringent indoor air quality, IAQ, and ventilation code requirements such as ASHRAE Standard 62.1. The dedicated intake enables precise balancing of outdoor airflow and ensures each zone receives the required minimum ventilation CFM, even when the primary air volume is reduced during part load conditions. When and why to use FPTUs? So when should you use a fan-powered terminal instead of a standard valve box? Typically, it's when the zone requires heating with limited primary airflow or stable ventilation. Standard VAV boxes can't effectively provide heat at very low primary airflows. FPTUs can because they induce warm plenum air and mix it with a small amount of primary air. They're ideal for perimeter zones, spaces that need constant diffuser throw, or areas with stringent ventilation requirements. Climate considerations. Fan-powered terminal units are most common in colder climates, like the Northeast, Midwest, and Pacific Northwest, where buildings experience significant heating loads at their perimeters for much of the year. In these climates, perimeter zones lose heat through windows and walls, even while the core might still need cooling. FPTUs are the perfect solution. They pull warmer plenum air and add reheat to maintain comfort without overcooling. In warmer climates, such as Southern California, Texas, or Florida, you'll see far fewer FPTUs. Those regions use standard VAV boxes with reheat because perimeter heating is rarely needed beyond what the VAV box, with the reheat coil, can already provide. Climate Drives Design 
cold regions lean heavily on parallel units for perimeter heating, while mixed climates may use series units for consistent ventilation. Winter design and the heating formula. Let's talk about what happens during peak winter conditions and how airflow relates to heating capacity. The heat delivered to a space is defined by the formula. Q equals 1.08 times CFM times Delta T or Q equals 1.2 times liters per second times Delta T where Q is in BTUs per hour. CFM is airflow, and delta T is the temperature difference between discharge air and the space. During winter, your minimum ventilation airflow might not be enough to meet the heating load. For example, if you only have 200 CFM, 94 liters per second, at a 28 degree Fahrenheit, 15.6 degrees Celsius, rise, you can deliver about 6,000 BTU per hour, 1.76 kilowatts, not nearly enough for a perimeter zone needing 12,000 BTU per hour, 3.5 kilohours. That's where FPTUs come in. The fan draws additional warm plenum air, increasing the total discharge airflow to, say, 600 CFM, 283 liters per second. Using the same formula, Q equals 1.08 times 600 times 28 for 18 144 BTU per hour, or Q equals 1.2 times 283 times 15.6 equals 5.3 key dollars. Now the terminal easily covers the heating load, without requiring extra primary air from the main air handler. This ability to decouple ventilation CFM from heating CFM is the key advantage of fan-powered terminals in cold climates. Control Sequence of Operation Control sequences for FPTUs follow a predictable pattern. In cooling mode, the primary damper modulates to maintain zone temperature. The fan stays on continuously for series units or off for parallel units. In heating mode, series fans keep running while reheat engages. Parallel units start their fan only when the space temperature drops below set point. Building automation systems monitor minimum ventilation airflow, fan status, and reheat control to maintain comfort and indoor air quality. Applications In overhead VV systems, parallel units work best for perimeter zones that require frequent heating. Series units are preferred in core zones where maintaining constant airflow and diffuser performance is critical. For UFAD, underfloor air distribution, systems, fan-powered terminals can be placed beneath the raised floor to locally mix and heat air near the perimeter. Selection and design tips. When selecting an FPTU, review manufacturer data carefully. Check airflow ranges, fan power, pressure drop, and coil performance. For quiet operation, use ECM motors and optional attenuators. Always specify a pressure-independent control damper with calibrated flow sensors and confirm your minimum ventilation CFM meets code requirements. Don't forget about accessibility and orientation. Parallel units must be installed level, and underfloor terminals need removable panels for service. Commissioning and common pitfalls. During commissioning, verify primary airflow calibration, fan rotation, and coil operation. Trend zone temperature, primary airflow, and reheat valve position. Common mistakes include not maintaining minimum ventilation flow, short cycling parallel fans, or overlooking acoustic treatments. Proper setup ensures efficiency and occupant comfort. Fan-powered terminal units play a vital role in modern HVAC systems, blending air, maintaining ventilation, and improving zone control. Whether you choose series or parallel, overhead or underfloor, or design for a cold or warm climate, understanding their operation helps you design smarter and troubleshoot faster. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out our HVAC and plumbing estimating spreadsheets to streamline your construction bidding process. Check out our HVAC, electrical, and plumbing construction forms to help you run your business and explore our online courses for in-depth training.